Good morning, world. Um, today is Discovery Day. We got parts. This thing's been parked for about a week. Um, drove it to work. Drove it home. It's running fine. Got to a stoplight, and the clutch just started getting weird. Started dropping to the floor. Compressed it a couple times. It'd come back. Uh, drop it to the floor. Got it home. Uh, noticed the coolant, or not the coolant, the uh, fluid for the master cylinder was low. Um, and I decided to top it off. Put it out real quick. Stayed in there. No problem. Uh, actuated a couple times. The pedal felt fine. Then we uh, took it for a drive and it wouldn't shift. It was acting a fool and uh, things kind of got worse. So I got it home was able to make it work and then um once i got home noticed the cool or the fluid was low again low-ish not as low as it was before and then i checked the master cylinder no leaks check the hose no leaks check the slave cylinder every time you press it it just sprays right out so i got a new slave cylinder for the can't do this on discovery i'm gonna go put that in now so all right, so here's our slave cylinder. You can see it's leaking. This is a uh, clutch fluid, which is actually DOT4 brake fluid. Um, we're gonna break this line. I'm sorry, this is blurry. The sun is like peeking through and it's super weird. All right, so we can see this is our slave cylinder right here. This is where we're leaking at. It's actually coming out through the back side. Um, so we're gonna break this hose line here which goes up to the master cylinder and uh, we're going to drain out all the brake fluid and then after that we're going to unbolt the two fasteners that hold the slave cylinder in place and then we'll swap adapters and uh, top this baby back off. Alright so I have everything broken free two 10 millimeter bolts this was a 13 mil adapter that's an 11 mil bleeder nut so I'm going to go ahead and pull this all apart Still gonna probably have fluid in it, so I'm gonna make sure the bucket's under there for when that drains out. Uh, but yeah, not too shabby so far. All right, and here's the old slave cylinder. You can see we got a tear. You can see we got a tear in the boot there. And uh, we're leaking out of the back side of that boot as well, which means that O-ring on the inside is probably shot. So, we got the new one. Uh, we're gonna line it up. I'm gonna replace those fittings onto it. All right, so we're out with the old and with the new. Got this reinstalled. Got the, I don't really know what that's called. I guess it's like the clutch pin or something installed. And then this has a new bleeder nut on it, so we're good to go. Uh, adapter fit right up, no problem. Clean it up a little bit so it's sealed again. And looking good to go. This has been, has definitely seen better days, but it is, for what I know, up into the elements, so it is a little rusty, but it's fine. Yep, let's go put it in. Our new slave cylinder is installed. Now we're going to refill and bleed the system. So I got the help of said wife. Like, you're blurry. There we go. And I've got the help of said wife. All right, so new slave cylinder is installed. Good to go, hopefully. Uh, Blood it out. Nice and tight now. I have a clutch pedal again. So I'm going to go take it for a quick run and make sure that everything feels good because it felt fine before and didn't start getting sloppy until I was driving. So let's crank this baddie up. All right, so slave cylinder worked. Dang, my hands are dirty. Slave cylinder worked. We're driving the disco right now. I'm gonna go do the rover thing, get some Starbucks. And uh, yeah, shifting really good now. I think the clutch cell or the slave cylinder has been kind of messed up for a while because um, it's shifting like super precise now, which is actually really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next update. We got some stuff coming up the Range Rover camping next weekend and uh, for the 4th of July weekend and yeah, some other stuff going on too that we got to get fixed. So see you guys later.